contrary to rumors, the dinosaurs were extinct by the time I was born. It was during the Great Patriotic War when America and its noble allies, the Chinese and the Soviet Russians, were engaged in a great war with us against the abominable Germans and Japanese. But that war ended when I was about this high. It ended with a bang, an atomic bang. By the time I went to school, it was the Americans allied with the Germans and the Japanese against the abominable Chinese and the abominable Soviet Russians who had stolen our bomb. And we were scared. Once a month, the schools had us do a bomb drill. We would get under, down on our knees like this, under our desks, put our hands over our heads, and turn away from the window to save ourselves from the atomic bomb. <laughs> Some of us didn't think it would work. So we boys were all into war, so we played with our toy soldiers. We played Americans against Japanese or Germans or Chinese or Russians or anybody. And when we weren't fighting them, we were fighting each other. Fists and sticks and rocks. As we were playing our war games, the boys looking out of the corner of our eye noticed that the little girls were changing. They were developing figures. Now, we boys didn't know exactly what to do with this, but the schools did. The schools said, oh, we need to get these rock throwing little boys together with these little girls to get married and have children and make more soldiers. So they had a plan. They would teach us social dancing, because when you dance, you sort of have to talk to the girl you're dancing with. And if you dance and you talk, then you might fall in love and get married and make more children. Makes sense. So this was their plan. They took us to the gymnasium and they lined us up. Boys on this side, girls on this side. And the boys had to take this 10 meter walk of death to go over and ask the pretty girl to dance. Or not. I was scared to ask the pretty girl. I asked the girl next to her because I knew that we would change partners. So after a little while, I'd be dancing with the girl of my dreams for a minute or so. I'd be in heaven. And it was worked out the way the schools planned. We had conversation. I remember one of those conversations well. Hey, you idiot! Don't you know better than to wear boots when you're dancing? You're squashing my toes. See? It worked just like the school thought. It's just like marriage. So, after we got out of primary school, we went on to secondary school. The smart kids took chemistry, physics, foreign language, so we could go out and do what it took to beat the Russians. And the others, the boys learned to work with their hands to make things out of wood and steel. And the girls learned cooking, sewing, and typing. Typing so they'd have something to do until somebody invited them to come cook and sew. Somehow it worked. I graduated in 1960, and most of my classmates our grandparents and great-grandparents by now. And this continued to work for about another five years. And then things changed. The baby boomers came of age. And feminism came about at the same time. And the girls started to ask questions. Why should I have children if they're just going to be vaporized by mom? That doesn't make sense. Why should I depend on a man to buy me good things when I go to work and buy them myself. So, sales of cars and apartments to women went up like this. Sales of dollhouses and kodiaks 
Alaska's went down like that, and that's the way it was. That's 50 years ago. Now, why am I telling you this? There's another kind of dinosaur about to go extinct. My generation. Who can tell you about this and tell you why you need to pay attention to what's going on. Because here's what happened. The baby boomers are the largest generation ever in American history and most of Western Europe. And they got control of the government fairly early. And they take good care of themselves. So they voted very generous pensions, very generous health benefits to be paid for by the children. That they didn't have. Well, no problem. They controlled the government. So they said, OK, we'll borrow to pay for all these benefits. So they borrowed and borrowed and borrowed. Western Europe did the same, even worse than Americans. But in America, there's now $68,000 of debt for every man, woman, and child. And it's going up by $3,000 a year. That's as much as the average Ukrainian makes in Europe. Can this go on forever? Only a quarter of the baby boomers are retired. When the rest of them retire and start to get all that money, there's going to be a problem. The rest of the world's going to stop loaning money. So you guys, your generation, is in trouble because there won't be any money saved for your pensions and there won't be any taxpayers to speak of for your pensions. What to do about it? Here's my advice. Boys on this side, girls on this side. Whether it's a gym or a samba club or a Toastmasters ball, get together. Get to know each other. Have a conversation, have a dance. Get married, have children. Because as it was for millennia before socialism, and as it will be for millennia after socialism, the real security in old age is your children. More than that, there'll probably be another generation of abominable bombers coming from someplace to threaten you, and it won't be a bad idea to have some soldiers to protect you. And beyond that, you might even enjoy having children. They're kind of fun.